I craved more power. I craved more speed. So I built a four-wheeled monster to suit my needs. The monster was quite happy and very fast at first. But the monster soon became angry and tried to destroy the shop in a single burst. Welcome to Invoke Performance. My name is Rashad, and this channel is centered around the love for speed, excitement, and new technology. So in part one of this video, I am on the quest to build the world's fastest electric buggy. So in that part one of that video, I started by cutting an ATV in half and by cutting my go-kart in half, and my plan is to splice the two into one. The reason why is I wanted to upgrade the suspension and increase the stability of the chassis to make way for the higher power which I plan to run. And the power of the original go-kart did not go unnoticed. Brian Denton at XS Motorworks also started a build on his channel which I will link in the description of this video. Uh, he is building a go-kart with a 600cc gas engine from a sport bike along with a, an electric motor to make his cart a hybrid. So as a response I will need to make big power because I want to stick with the all-electric approach. So I'm going to be attempting to build a go-kart with 100 plus horsepower and over a hundred plus pound feet of torque. So this is one of the most powerful projects I have ever attempted. So I need to make sure I cross all the T's and dot all the I's in order to ensure this thing is going to be safe to operate. So I'm going to begin to remove all the excess metal in this clip, as you can see here, uh, so that I can shorten the wheelbase because in the original video of part one, the wheelbase was over 80 inches, which is absolutely unacceptable for a vehicle of this performance. So. As I begin to remove the excess metal, it will give me much more room to actually sandwich the frame of the ATV farther inside of the go-kart frame so that it'll shorten my overall wheelbase and increase the stability. But I also need to make note that I will need a lot of room still to mount the dual motors. So I'm going to take you on this venture. Let's get started, guys. So I think now is a great time to do a follow-up to see how far we got. I finally have the overall frame and setup kind of configured to where I'm going to be leaving it now. I'm actually going to be sitting on top of one of the motors because I did not want the wheelbase to be over 80 inches. Now I have the wheelbase around 60 inches, which is more realistic as far as not being able to being able to turn at a reasonable rate without wanting to roll. And it looks way more proportional, I believe so also. And guys, I'm just overall very happy with the way this turned out. I moved a lot of metal, as you can see in that time lapse, but it was all worth it. As you can see now, I still have the ability to flip those wheels out and widen my uh, actual stance. And the next step is going to actually be finalizing and actually welding the frame to the front and rear. Today was mostly just a lot of mock-up stuff, which usually takes a lot of time with a vehicle of this caliber. But as you can see, there's my racing seat that I'm going to be putting here. So I'm going to make like a platform to raise up and I'll be sitting there. I'm going to have to move this because the steering wheel kind of hits my knees so we're just going to move this up a little bit it won't be too hard to do that and as you can see i have a direct sight line to my chain which is huge for uh for reliability and making sure that everything runs smoothly and then on this side here i'm going to have a nice angle from this sprocket down to that input shaft all that spline so that's really nice there and then the whole side of the chassis will house my batteries be on both sides to balance the weight and then on the back here i'm going to make a bracket for my inverter so the inverter will be housed up here i'm going to have the speed controller for the other one maybe somewhere back here i got a lot of space to work with but guys this is a very very clean setup uh brian actually approved let's walk over to his setup i believe he's doing some stuff as a quick update brian what? i see you got a lot of wiring done how soon do you think you'll be running i'm, I'm, I'm ready to go i am ready to go holy moly maybe not all right, all right, I'm walking around. I see a lot of sprockets and I things. Have sprockets, and lots of sprockets, right, happening. sprockets happening there. All right, smooth, okay. Yeah. And I see a uh, fuel tech up here somewhere. I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it seems to be that he's getting in the final stages of running. I see there's a wiring harness. I believe he's running a fuel tech FT600. I'm also going to be having a fuel tech on mine. I haven't gotten the wiring, but you see, he's got his wiring loom. Uh, things are moving fast for Brian. 
So we're gonna pick up the pace also. Brian is a master fabricator. He has been doing this for many years, so he has an absolute advantage as far as experience. But my strategy is to beat him with absolute madness and power, <laughs> which is, might be a little bit dangerous, but you know what guys, let's go for it. So in this clip here, I wanna continue to work on the frame by removing more excess metal, and I begin to actually align the front. Brian instructed me to ensure that I get the front steering geometry correct. So he gave me a few tips so that he'll have someone to actually compete with. I don't destroy it in the first few minutes. So I begin to jack the actual go-kart frame up on jack stands to make sure it is as level as possible. And then measure twice and cut once is the motto. So I did that just before I welded and I'm sliding the back into position so that I can make sure that everything stays in place before I begin to weld. So I also need to grind the metal so I can have a good surface to weld and make sure I get good solid welds because the weight of this vehicle is going to be quite extreme once I begin to add motors and batteries. At this point, my build is unlike anything I have ever seen. So I think it's a perfect time to thank the video sponsor today who is Custom EV. They offer a broad selection of electric vehicles on their website such as Speedway scooters, Fido scooters, and Dualtron scooters. Those are some of the fastest and most high performance electric vehicles on the market right now. And they offer full part support, batteries and motors to create custom electric vehicles. So guys head over to Custom EV. They are doing a lot of holiday sales right now that you do not want to miss. And they will be your number one resource for fast shipping and absolutely outstanding customer support. So head over to Custom EV. The link will be in the description. So let's get back to the action. Alrighty guys, so if you love this kind of content and want to see more, smash that like button, smash the subscribe button so you can stay up to date because you do not want to miss this race that is soon coming. I believe we got him guys. Everything is lining up perfectly, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.